What's happening people, it's your boy The Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now as always, people don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you now. Let me do something different for this video, man. I want to, uh, first of all, shout out to my younger followers, shout out to my older followers. Uh, I'm in my mid-30s, I've followed the sport for a long time and there were some fights out there that really ignited my passion for the sport, man. You know, I used to I used to box as a young, not, not particularly at a high level, but when I was younger, I used to box and then I went to uni uh, it kind of went downhill from there and then like I just ended up following the sport like most other people but yeah these type of videos that I'm going to do I'm, I might make it a new feature on this channel but I'm going to reflect on some fights in the past that really you know ignited my passion for the sport you know really left a memory on me uh, big events you know just my recollection of it and uh, give you guys a little backstory and you know how the fight went and everything else so let's see how this goes uh, the first fight that I'm going to do that really did, you know, leave an imprint on me, uh, which was a big event in the sport of boxing at the time, was Bernard Hopkins defeating Felix Trinidad back in 2001. Now, this fight here, uh, it captivated off uh, a Don King tournament. It was a middleweight tournament that took place um, between four of the best middleweights in the world. Uh, the plan was to crown an undisputed champion at the time. And um, yeah, this was really a big event because... This fight took place, Hopkins and Trinidad, took place two weeks after the September the 11th attacks. Now, we know what sort of impact that had on the world at the time. Um, you know, at that, that time, everything was getting cancelled. And um, it was a big call as to whether Hopkins and Trinidad, which was the final, was actually going to take place. So all the belts were on the line. Felix Trinidad against Bernard Hopkins in New York City as well. Uh, the big question was whether that fight was actually going to go ahead or not two weeks after September 11th attacks, but it ended up happening. And uh, going into this fight, like I said, it was a middleweight tournament. Uh, Hopkins and Trinidad were the finalists. Um, Trinidad was the overwhelming favourite. He was the golden boy, the star. Moved up from light middleweight at the time. Was blowing everybody out in his path. You know, his popularity was at an all-time high. Don King made it no secret that he really wanted Felix Trinidad to win this tournament. And um, his fight against William Joppy knocked him out in the fifth round. Just a sensational performance. The crowd in that arena at the time, I think it was Madison Square Garden as well, but the crowd were just, you know, unbelievable, as you could imagine. Felix Trinidad had almost like a cult following. Like, the Puerto Ricans were just, you know, he was one of the most popular fighters out there that I can remember. Um, so, yeah, he was heading into the final uh, undefeated. I think he was like 40-0, maybe 41-0. Um, had a terrific knockout record. Uh, Felix Trinidad was at the peak of his powers, man. And you had Bernard Hopkins, you know, he was about 36, 37 at the time. Um, you know, he called himself the American dream. He came out of prison, you know, didn't have no fanfare behind him when he turned pro. I think he lost his first pro fight, but he was a workhorse. He worked himself back up to get, um, you know, to become a world champion. But it was very like, you know, workmanlike performances, nothing spectacular. Nobody really looked at Bernard Hopkins and thought, yeah, this is the guy that I want to follow. Like, he was just someone that was an unspectacular champion at the time. So going into this final between Bernard Hopkins and Felix Trinidad, uh, these two guys, man, um, the build-up was a bit messy. You know, Trinidad was the overwhelming favourite. Uh, the press conferences, Bernard Hopkins, like, I remember at the time, there was a Puerto Rican flag. I think it was in Puerto Rico. They had, like, a, a press tour before the attacks happened, of course. But they had a press tour. And uh, Hopkins picked up the Puerto Rican flag and threw it on the floor. He got ran out of the building by the Puerto Ricans there. And uh, it was all just a mess, you know. And then, like, I remember um, it got a bit heated at the weigh-in. You know, the two were going nose to nose. But the fight itself, as, when the fight actually happened, two weeks after the attacks, um, everybody was emotional at this point. You know, nobody really knew what was going to happen. You know, it was a, a state of shock around the world. But Don King was adamant that this fight was going to take place. And it did. So um, the fight itself, Trinidad, an overwhelming favourite, was expected to defeat Bernard Hopkins and win by knockout. Even though he was moving up from middleweight and Hopkins was the natural middleweight, he was expected to blow Hopkins out of there. Uh, Hopkins, I think, won against Keith Holmes in his leg of the tournament. Uh, again, I think it was like a 12-round point decision. Uh, nothing really spectacular there. So when him and Trinidad got it on, Trinidad was expected to win. It was in New York, uh, Hopkins from Philadelphia, which was, isn't far from New York, but... Trinidad had the overwhelming majority of the fans in there, all Puerto Ricans. Uh, yeah, 
it was all lined up for him to win. Let me just put it that way. And um, yeah, when the fight happened, Hopkins ended up putting in a tremendous, tremendous performance, man. It was a, a performance for the ages almost because he went out there and dominated Trinidad from start to finish. Uh, really put a beating on Felix Trinidad, man. Nobody expected that. And uh, as we approach, I mean, Hopkins put on a clinic as well. It was a masterful boxing performance where he just outworked, outfought, out hustled, out everything Felix Trinidad. And, um, you know, he took away Felix Trinidad's jab. He took away his right hand, took away his famous left hook. And uh, he really stripped him of all of his tools. And it was one of those performances where, you know, it was just unbelievable. You know, it was an unbelievable performance from Bernard Hopkins. Ended up dropping Felix Trinidad in the 12th after a spectacular performance before that. And uh, it was like a faint uppercut. I think he fainted the uppercut and then caught Trinidad uh, with a right, maybe. Or I think it was a right. And Trinidad buckled, fell to his knees, went on the, on, fell on his ass pretty much. And then uh, Trinidad's dad famously went in the ring and stopped it uh, for his son. You know, his son got up and wanted to carry on. He had, that was the heart that he had. But Bernard Hopkins uh, ended up winning that fight by knockout, became the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. I think it was the first, was it the first undisputed middleweight champion since Carlos Monzon? Might have been. Um, but yeah, Hopkins became undisputed champion that day. Um, you know, he was very emotional. Um, you know, he called himself the American dream after that. And uh, it was a tremendous occasion, man, because nobody thought Hopkins would win. Um, he did win. He dedicated it to, you know, the Americans out there. And it was, you know, a, just a, a memorable event that was. Uh, Hopkins, as you know, went on to, you know, achieve incredible things. You know, but he, went, he carried on for another, what was it, 13 odd years after that. So, yeah, Hopkins was, you know, insane, an alien. Like, that's really, he really was an alien. Um, but that fight really sparked it all off for me. Like, that was the fight that really launched Hopkins into, you know, superstardom. And then he really went on to continue to have a Hall of Fame career after that. But, you know, Hopkins went on the up after that. Trinidad didn't really have many fight, more fights after that, really. I mean, he, he, his career kind of like, it didn't really hit the heights afterwards, you know. Um, he, he stayed at middleweight and yeah, he, he never really became that much of a force after that, ending up retiring. Um, you know, his prime days were pretty much behind him after that, but Hopkins went on to achieve great things. And that fight really did leave a tremendous imprint on me because I remember following that. I remember buying the magazines and just like really getting into it. And yeah, it was just a significant event in the sport of boxing, man. So the older guys, I'm sure you guys will relate. I'm, I'm sure you guys will remember that event. Uh, the backstory and everything that happened around it. If you do, drop your thoughts and memories of that in the comments as well, man. I'd love to hear it, just so I can reminisce and hear what your guys' opinions are of it. And for the younger guys watching this video, go and watch that fight. It's definitely on YouTube somewhere. Uh, go and watch it on YouTube. Go and watch it, man. It, it's just that the whole build-up, the event, the fight itself was a tremendous occasion, man. So that's going to be my first flashback video uh, for this particular series. Let's see how it goes, but... Let me know your thoughts and comments. Drop any recommendations as well. Uh, I'll happily do more videos like these. But yeah, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below, guys. And I'll catch you on the next video.